What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and title update 16.2 has gone live. We have patch notes to go through. I'm going to do my best to keep this under 10 minutes and give you my thoughts and impressions as I read through these with you. Uh, thanks again for all the continued support to the channel. We're up over 100,000 subscribers, soon to hit 101,000 subs. I owe all of that to you. Thank you so much for the continued support. Uh, if you haven't smashed that big, beautiful subscribe button, please do so and take just a few seconds more to ring the bell to receive all my future upload notifications from the channel. Let's go. All right, let's dive right into this. You know how I roll with these. I will include a link to the title update patch notes in the video description below. I encourage you to go check them out. Maybe find those little details you're looking for. I'm going to start right off with with gear. There are five fixes for Umbra Initiative. Uh, they fixed a clipping issue with vanity masks. Uh, the fact that it was missing is visual and mod slots. The fact that it was showing, even if you had always show mask option in the inventory set to off. Uh, they fixed an issue with the die slots having no functionality for umber initiative and fix the ui issue with umber initiative knee pads visual slots wrong placement so five fixes for umber initiative take a listen to this one though fixed both the regular and the name chest pieces from the ug brand set having only one attribute it keeps going chest piece second attribute was re-rolled randomly the randomly re-rolled attribute second attribute is now changed back to the original role the first attribute remains unchanged for those of you with your closer chess pieces log in take a look at it is it back to that all red god roll that you wanted with your ug closer uh, it says here in the patch notes it's supposed to be if you re-rolled the first attribute to that of the second attribute original you will get a random first attribute but both will be unlocked and available for recal so if you tried to rejig your closer chess piece uh, they're giving you a second option to re-roll an attribute. So hopefully that fixes the whole dilemma with the closer chess pieces. Fix the issue with the striker's battle gear. Gear set four-piece bonus not applying when swapping between identical striker's pieces from the inventory. I didn't know about that one. Fix the issue that nullified the set bonuses effects when changing between two gear sets. Loadouts that have at least two distinct item pieces for ongoing directive, negotiator's dilemma, striker's battle gear, foundry, bulwark, and rigor. There you go. There's the gear. Uh, big ones to take out of that. Umbra Initiative had a bunch of little things fixed in the closer chest piece. Weapons. Moving on. Fixed. Busy little bee exotic pistol talent damage buff applies to skills. Everyone was abusing that. Apparently it's now fixed. Fix the issue with the busy little bee exotic pistol blueprint not unlocking after reaching level 85 of the seasonal reward track. I could see where that would be kind of bad. Fix the issue with the Beccaro's holster, Hermano backpack, bloody knuckles, and busy little bee not dropping from their respected targeted loot pool. So listen to that again. Now you can go and if, if you are uh, using targeted loot, if it's holsters, Picaros is now in there. The Armano backpack, Ermano, excuse me, is now in there. Bloody Knuckles is in there. Busy Little B will be with pistols, so they're now in the targeted loot pools. Fix the issue with the ongoing directive, gear set talent, the rules of engagement, generating specialization weapon ammo in the dark zone. Oh, that would have been awesome. Updated the strikers, battle gear, localization, both press the advantage and strikers gamble should have the correct talent descriptions. Fix the issue with the dread edict talent, full stack uh, full stop stacking with damage dealt by skill, talent, or status effect. Fix the issue with the sledgehammer talent not showing in the recal station talent library. I know a lot of you have been asking about that. Sledgehammer is now in the recal station. Updated the blue screen exotic LMG drop conditions for legendary enemies. Dark zone won't fix uh targeted loot in the dark zone drops as normal loot instead of contaminated loot we decided to keep the targeted loot uncontaminated for the time being so if you were in there and uh you were dropping things and getting uh targeted loot in the dz uh it's just gonna go straight into your bag and remain um uncontaminated in order to obtain the DZ West Backpack Trophy, players will have to complete five extractions from the DZ West. I should go check that one because I know I have more than that. Stability. Oof. Fixed several server stability issues. Fixed an issue with the game crashing after entering an Iron Horse raid group through matchmaking and then going to the pilot and selecting 
countdown. I will tell you this morning uh, on PC, after about 20 to 30 minutes, I went full crash, hard crash. Uh, I was able to control alt delete in the task manager and you know, drop the game from there and reboot it. So it wasn't a full lock of the system, but I crashed after about 30 minutes this morning. Uh, miscellaneous fixed exotic components are not dropping from control points caches. I know a lot of you uh, were not happy without that. Apparently now you can get exotic components to drop from control point caches. Fix the wrong uh, icon for the countdown of the mega map. Okay. Uh, fix the pilot menu so selecting countdown doesn't overwrite the ex exiting exciting raid group uh fix the issue with the inspect menu overlapping with the social menu after creating a raid group yada 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 fix the issue issue with the uh mark all as junk button from options menu uh, not being functional fix the issue with the loading button appearing when trying to create a countdown session while in a raid group when the raid difficulty is the same as the countdown one good lord manhunt uh, fix the time for achieving stage 10 in the seasonal time challenges for Manning National Zoo, Roosevelt Island, and Wall Street is now set to one hour. Okay. Fix the issue with the legacy or season 9 hidden caches uh, being awarded instead of season 10 price of power caches for global events and leagues. I've commented on that in the past. Fix the issue with the Chirpy League image being used as the thumbnail image for Lucky League trophy when viewing it in the apparel menu. Apparel items. Shade Paragon apparel event has started. Collect six unique outfits inspired by the specialization skills. Uh, we've got this one and then uh, mid next month is when we have the the dark spooky one that will come out but uh anyway these are apparently i guess inspired by the specializations like they say and there's six of them uh to go collect store on time one time offer will be available starting from october 20th 2022 so that's in two days known issues uh brazos de uh, arcabus grand set color is incorrect in the appearance collection i probably butchered that and ug brand set is not available in the appearance collection so there you go like i said i will of course include a link to all of this in the uh, video description below uh you know what i'm not seeing is any fixes for floor 10 uh revert for uh excuse me the summit i, I like the fact that the closer was fixed um but yeah i don't see anything mentioned about a revert there so uh, maybe as you guys go in and log in today, I spent a good uh, two to three hours just goofballing around today, speed running a few things. Let me know what your overall impressions. Did any of this fix any of your issues uh, with title update 16.2 going live today? Is your PC stability better? Are things better for you? Leave me your feedback in the comment section below. As always, I look forward to reading your feedback. Make sure to smash that big, beautiful subscribe button and ring the bell to receive all my future upload notifications. If you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. Remember, you can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over on my community Discord server. Links to all my socials can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.